The Oi nuclear power plant in Fukui Prefecture has held an emergency drill. Sunday's drill came ahead of the release of the Nuclear Safety Commission's review of the stress test that the plant must pass before it can be restarted. The operator of the plant, Kansai Electric Power Company, checked if its safety procedures can prevent an accident like the one at the Fukushima Daiichi. In the drill, the reactors were assumed to have lost all power after a tsunami hit the plant. Workers activated emergency generators installed on high ground after last year's accident. They connected a hose to a pump that would supply seawater to cool the reactors. They confirmed the steps that need to be taken after the plant loses power. The OE plant has so far met only four of the 30 additional safety measures set by the government. The OE plant has so far met only four of the 30 additional safety measures set by the government. It is not yet known whether local municipalities will agree to resume operations at the plant. <laughs> Northeastern Japan reported the largest drop in tourism nationwide. In response, the public and private sectors have launched a campaign to attract more visitors to Tohoku. Tourism is crucial for reconstruction from the disaster. The governor of Iwate, one of the three hardest hit prefectures, made the appeal at a ceremony at Tokyo Station to mark the opening of the Destination Tohoku campaign. Visitors to Tohoku can get information on sightseeing spots and a special discount passport to use at restaurants and tourist facilities in the region. I want to do something to support people there by buying food or souvenirs. I'm going to eat and buy things. That's my plan. The campaign events include tours of Fukushima by bullet train from Tokyo Station. 2011 saw a year-on-year -year decline of about 20% in the number of people who stayed at inns and hotels in six prefectures in Tohoku. The tourism agency hopes visitor numbers will return to the pre-disaster level during the year-long campaign. couple of months or so. Hey, uh, what do you think of the idea, huh, Fred? I think it's the most despicable... I know you'd say that. The most insidious... I know you'd say that. The most ingenious idea I ever heard. Let's join! I know you'd say that too, Fred. <laughs> and now a word from our alternate sponsor.
Wherever you go for fast relief, it's Speedy Alka-Seltzer. Things are changing very fast in Florida today. They still have pretty beaches and palm trees gently sway. But up at Cape Canaveral, it's quite a different sight. They're launching giant rockets almost every night. When work pressures make you nervous and your stomach gets upset, that's the time for Alka-Seltzer. Alka-Seltzer's what to get. And scientists get headaches from the rocket's mighty blast. But they know Alka-Seltzer brings relief and brings it fast. And when someday they blast away a man's first trip through space, I only hope that I'm aboard securely strapped in place. They'll track our ship with radar, big telescopes, and soon, imagine seeing speedy Alka-Seltzer on the moon. Yes, no matter where you go, when you have a headache... <laughs>